Hey, good evening, YouTube. How y'all doing? Good, I hope. <coughs> Happy uh, <coughs> International Stout Day. So, y'all know what I'm doing, eh? Well, it's a stout day. International Stout Day, so I'm gonna have a stout. Yeah, I'm gonna review a stout. Not just no, any ordinary stout. Tonight, I'm gonna be reviewing La Vache Follet, which is an imperial milk stout. 90% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. It's been out of the. It, it has never. It, it hasn't been in the fridge, so it's like, it's cooler than my hands. So it's probably about 12 degrees, 10, 12 degrees. Uh, original gravity, 9.5 Play-Doh. IBUs 10. Alpha acids, 80%. 40% or 47% Lovabond. It was brewed. 2013-0204. I just picked it up, so hopefully it's still good. Microbrasserie Chavalus. What is that? Shit. Charlevoix. Charlevoix. <coughs> There's a bit of a story on the back. I'm not going to read because it tells me what it is. I'm going to use my Brasserie du Ciel tulip glass. Um, Hopefully this is good. So, I also have uh, the new version of the Tom Green Milk Stout, and I have the old version of the Tom Green Milk Stout, and I have the bourbon barrel aged version of the Tom Green Milk Stout. So, maybe, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a, a triple, a triple header. Anyways, with some nice smokage there, I'm gonna give it a smell from the bottle first. Oh, nice sweetness, some bitter chocolate. Let's give her a pour, see what we get. So, it's black as black can be, I can't see through it at all. You got two fingers ahead, it's like a, a light brown head. Nice like tiny bubbles. So the beer looks fantastic. So if some of you know already, um, milk stouts are usually brewed with some lactose added to it to give it a nice sweetness. Um, there's a couple of different versions of milk stouts and stuff like that. Um, I've had a f this is the second, only the second milk stout I've ever had. I had the Tom Green one that I reviewed the very first time they brought it out, but they brought it out again. So, anyways, looks like a stout. Cheers to International Stout Day, folks. Let's give it a smell. Some roasted malts in there. A very light hint of coffee. Slightly bitter chocolate. Burnt caramel. You know when you're <coughs> when you're melting <coughs> when you're making caramel on the stove for like uh, you know uh, caramel candy apples and stuff like that. If you if you <coughs> if you cook it too long, you get that burning smell. It's kind of like a roasty, burning kind of caramel. Anyways, enough of that. Let's dive in there, give her a taste. Cheers. being a 9% ABV beer, it's a very light mouth feel, very smooth, um, take a swig of it, 
and you get that nice sweetness at the tip of your tongue as it rolls across your <coughs> your tongue. You get those burnt uh, caramel qualities followed by the, the bitter coffee and the bitter chocolate. And at the back, you get a nice sweetness. But you do, at the very back, you do get the alcohol taste. You do taste the alcohol. But it's a very light, smooth, easy drinking uh, stout. You know, it, <coughs> it, 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 it's, it's like... A very light body feel, very soft, very smooth. And the only thing I don't like about it is that alcohol at the back. It's like a. It kind of reminds me of like a. A high, a high percentage barley wine. You get the alcohol burn at the back. But the forefront flavors are, are fantastic. Everything you smell in the nose, you do pick up on the tongue. So <coughs> there you have it. Not much more I can tell you about the beer. Um, you know, there's some, you know, two row in there, some uh, black malt, some roasted malt, some chocolate malt, some lactose, uh, maybe Fuggles or East Kent Golden Hops in there, Goldings. Um, yeah, it's a very good beer. Minus the alcohol burn. Excuse me, the rest of it is good, so. If you guys can find it, get it. It's in the LCBO right now. And I believe you can pick it up at Bruaha and uh, Bière de Monde. So Bruaha is in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada, and Bière de Monde is in Elmer, Quebec, Canada. Um, two big stores, definitely they have it, um, and like I said, selected LCBOs in Ontario have it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any ideas, suggestions down there in the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be back in a bit with another stout. Happy International Stout Day. Cheers.